and welcome back to another episode of Golden Sun. Um, I'm slightly upset because I actually just spent about 30 minutes working my way all the way through Mercury Lighthouse uh, and realized I wasn't recording, so I had to go ahead and start all the way back at the beginning, but now I know even more so what's ahead. So first off, in our last episode, we went ahead and made our way through the Tret Tree and came here to Imel where we met this blue-haired woman standing in front of us who seems to be having a bit of trouble with this monster inside the lighthouse. So we're going to try and... Oop, can't figure him out, so we are going to fight him. By the way, while I'm fighting, um, while I did go ahead and re-preview this dungeon simply because I forgot to record, uh, a friend of mine had actually asked me if based on how much I seem to know before I did things, and then how much of the dialogue I seem to know, or how quickly I was able to read it, um, he asked me if I was doing pre-recording for my episodes, or, sorry, not pre-recording, but actually post-recording, like was I recording the episodes, and then just doing commentary afterward. Uh, in every episode of every series that I do, whether it's Pokemon Showdown, Darkest Dungeon, uh, any of the old school Let's Plays, anything like that, all of my episodes are done recording-wise, especially like audio recording-wise, during the course of the episode. So I'm not going back and watching this and doing commentary afterward. Instead, I'm actually doing this while this is happening. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and make our way through Mercury Lighthouse. For you all the first time, for me, the second. He who honors the heart of the goddess shall stand at the center of all, like a swan in the center of a rippling pond. So we're going to keep that in mind and that statue in mind. Uh, sadly, if we jump on this, we see it has really no effect, so can't really go that way yet. And no real way we can go except straight forward. So, we're gonna run up here and we see, uh, Maya blocked again. The path is blocked again, what am I going to do? Well, that's okay, just let me handle it. I'll move that heavy statue. You saved me again, haven't you? Do you have business in the lighthouse, too? Yes, I do. I thought so. I'm sure there'll be more places ahead that I cannot pass alone. Only those of the Mercury Clan are permitted to enter this place. However, I sense something special about you. I feel that I can trust you. And so finally, we have access to Maya. And with Maya comes our first Mercury Jin, Fizz who is capable of healing by restoring HP with calming water, and he is actually one of my favorite gym. I like him a lot, I use him a lot on Isaac later in the game, I switch him to Isaac so Isaac can heal. Uh, but with Maya we also get access to Mercury or Water Synergy, which comes with water and ice-based attacks, so it is very useful to have her in the party. Now sadly we can't do anything in these waterfalls. And we'll first off be introduced to our first type of puzzle in this, which deals with these pipes. Uh, there is a chest over there, which we cannot get to yet. Instead, we're going to make our way around, aided by these water blasts. I was going to say gusts, but more of a blast than anything. And now we'll go ahead and push that pipe out of the way. And we can make our way to the left now, but we're not going to do that quite yet. Instead, we'll run around this way, and grab a Psy Crystal, which is a very useful item because it fully restores uh, one party member's PP, and can be very useful during longer dungeons. So uh, we will go ahead and come this way, and make our way down here. So I don't want to fight off these slimes, of course. Oozes, sorry. They're not slime, they are ooze. And as you can see, she has access to several different types of ice-based magic. Uh, frost, which is her basic. Tundra, which is an upgraded version of Frost. And then Ice, which targets a single target. Alright, managed to kill all of them. Some nice money and experience. Again, I apologize if my voice sounds a little tired. I did just talk for about 30 minutes thinking I was recording, only to realize I wasn't recording. And here we can see we have a statue puzzle. So this will be useful to keep in mind for later on. You see we have to push the statue all the way over here on top of this switch. And when we do, the door opens. Now luckily the game provides us with this nice little slide so we can make our way right over. And 
course, we'll fight this lizard man right here. Ooh, water blessing's gonna hurt. Alright, not great. Stun voltage should finish him off. It does. And you'll remember, Maya has an ability called Ply, which can be very useful when healing. However, in the Mercury Lighthouse, it also serves another purpose. He who honors the heart of the goddess, goddess excuse me, shall stand at the center of all, like a swan in the center of a rippling pond. So, if you cast Ply on the statue, which is her Mercury Clan ability, we are blessing the goddess and asking for her blessing in return. And now, when we jump on one of these platforms, you'll see three halos appear above us. And one disappears each time we move forward on the water. So, if you happen to be in the water and run out of halos, you'll start to drown. Oh my god! And when you try to move again, you'll be teleported right back to the nearest platform that you were on. So we will quickly emerge through here. We're going to go in here and... Uh, in my first attempted recording, I remembered that there was a type of armor in here. However, now I know it's the Synergy armor. And we are going to equip that on Garrett because he has lower Synergy and defense than Isaac does. So, now, he'll be all squared away. And we're also going to get ourselves ready because we're going to be fighting some gnomes and a, or a gnome and some ooze. More importantly than that, we have another fight coming up. And sad that the gnome ran because that's experience we didn't get, but now we have a level 11 soldier in Garrett, and we're going to take on this Mimic. For those of you not familiar, uh, most fantasy RPGs have monsters that hide in treasure chests. This is no different. Create a mighty earthen barrier, wrap him in delusion, boost our resistance, and we'll heal up Mia, or Maya. Alright, resistance goes up, which is helpful. Mimic's gonna do a little damage, not too much. And we wrapped him in delusion, so now he'll have trouble seeing, and we could more easily dodge attacks. And let's activate the rest of our gin here. Alright. 42 damage. 59 damage. Mercury's gonna come in to heal about 30. 38, not too bad. And Forge. So whereas Forge used to only increase our attack about 15 or so, now it's increasing some up to 25. And we'll actually get to see summons we haven't seen before, including Kyren. It be very, very useful. And we will go ahead and heal up Ivan. So Atalanta will attack the Mimic. Finally got her name right again. Ramsey's gonna come through. Deal 91 damage. He's gonna debilitate, which is fine. I'll heal up Ivan, and Kyron should come in and hopefully finish this off. Yes, it does. Beautiful. And we get Water of Life, which again, very, very handy to have. So we got the armor, we got the Water of Life from the Mimic. Let's head back on over. And so now we see this come into effect again, where we need to use the protection from the water to make it across this gigantic water-filled room. And although I don't want to, I will be going down and getting this treasure chest right over here. However, its contents are basically useless to us, as it is a sleep bomb. 
so we unfortunately can't make our way back and now have to start the puzzle all over again. So I'll quickly speed this up. to a gnome and some ooze when we got back on land. Sorry about the skip, but I didn't think you wanted to watch 30 seconds to a minute of me trying to traverse this puzzle. Alright. Flare wall should do the trick. Gnome some cast bolt. And items now level 11. And I will actually be grinding a little bit at some point because we are slightly under leveled to take on uh, the end of this dungeon. Perfect. So now we'll have. Just and fizzle heal Isaac. So one of the mauler should die that one. And this one will hopefully be wrapped in delusion. It is. Hopefully it will miss after we heal. It does not. But well, we're just going to attack outright. And down it goes. Alright, and in here. Notice there's nothing up top here. However, we'll start up here and notice that the water tends to flow down through these pipes. Now, in the previous room, that pool of water was empty, whereas now, it's full, allowing us to gain access to the next floor. And although I'm mostly positive I know the answer. I just want to make sure there's nothing in here. There is not. So let's make our way across the water. Something that wouldn't have been possible if the water wasn't there to activate those platforms. Alright, so like before we see this switch opens the door, but sadly there's nothing on it. However, this is where another pipe puzzle will come in. And after rolling logs around for a while in Kalima, we are experts at rolling. That sounded pretty bad. Anyway, so we'll see that by moving the water and the pipes around, we can change around. The order in which the water's coming out, or where the water's coming out, in order to move that statue closer to the hole. The whole point is to get it in the hole. That is what he said. Nailed it. All right. So that one's useless, sadly, but what we learned in Kalima is that we can use pipes and logs and things to block other ones. So if we roll that there, this pipe will put the statue in the hole. Ta-da! Puzzle solved. All right. Now we make our way back down. We'll push on this bad boy here. And door is open. So now we'll come to this one here. Boop. And we'll get a free nut. Ha, <laughs> you nut. And make our way around to yet another statue that appears as if it will have to be moved using Synergy. Luckily we are Adepts. Ah, see what I did there? Adepts. And we can move that wall out of the way by fitting the pipe, uh, the pipe in its proper place. Now we should be coming up, I think in this third or fourth one, to another thing I was excited about for this lighthouse. Another gin! 
and we are going to put all of them set and we're gonna take them on so this by the way is the mercury Jenny sleet and as you can kind of guess from the names uh, all the different gin are named for things that would logically fit in with their element. So for example, for wind adepts, or Jupiter adepts, you have things like gust, breeze. For mercury adepts, you have things like fizz, sleet, hail. Um, for fire, forge. So, all of them fit in exactly where they should. And... Have her heal up herself, actually. Hopefully this doesn't run away, because I don't want to fight this thing several times. Good, he's going to attack. Next round we'll heal up with Maya. Pyron's going to do some solid damage there. And now hopefully our most powerful Synergy will do the trick. With Maya, of course, healing up item. And we took him down. Perfect. 130 experience, 151 coins. But most importantly, Sleet joins our team, giving us access to all the level 2 summons. And Sleet is an attack type, whereas Fizz is supportive. So now everyone has one attack and one support gym. Alright. Nothing there. Nothing there. So, go ahead and fight off a couple of harpies. And the good news is, now we can save up our synergy when we have two opponents because everyone can do some damage. 85 out of Ivan, 73 out of Isaac, very good. Shriek's gonna hurt. Wow, 31 damage, that's a lot. Luckily. Alright. Harpy goes down. And we're quickly going to fly up Ivan. Alright. Good round of synergy should be enough to take them out. Harpy's obviously taking less from the Earthquake. Froth is going to hurt a little bit. And Flare Wall should be the trick there. So 121 experience, 162 coins. That is very good for us. We just get all our gin reset. We should hopefully act before them. We don't. Luckily they didn't poison us. They do have uh, an attack capable of poisoning, but luckily we avoid it. Everybody up. And six of these here. I believe the last one is the only one. Yeah. to sleep on me. Sweet, didn't work. Frog is going to hurt a little bit. So yeah, the sirens can be kind of annoying. Luckily, they don't get any of us to go to sleep. And Marsh should finish the job. 
dice, 135 experience, 168 coins. Very helpful. And we are getting very close to the end of Mercury Lighthouse. In fact, this should be one of the final hallways, because here is how we reach the top. However, we are not going to do that quite yet. I am quickly going to train up a little bit, just to make sure that we are ready for what is to come at the top of the lighthouse, so I will see you all in just a sec. Alright everybody, and we are back. So, I went ahead and leveled this up two levels, nothing major, I just wanted to make sure that we were appropriately leveled for this fight so that we didn't just immediately get murdered. Because, again, no one wants to be just straight up murdered. So, he who honors the goddess of rainbows shall be guided to the heavens upon wings of fluid grace. Meaning, of course... Hi! We're gonna cast fly. And, of course, in doing so, rainbow disappears and... Right, we are bending reality, and now the water is flowing up, instead of down. Welcome to the top of Mercury Lighthouse. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure is everyone healed up. Yeah, everyone's healed up. So we're okay to grab Synergy Stone. I'm then going to put everyone's gin on standby, except for Granite, because I'm going to use that first turn to make sure we can survive any hits, because with everyone's gin set, obviously they're much weaker stat-wise than they should be. And then we are going to make our way over to the middle of the lighthouse. too late. The lighthouse has already been lit. That's correct. That is the Mercury star burning brightly in the Mercury lighthouse, sadly. It, it can't be. The beacon cannot be lit without the Mercury star. <coughs> About that. The elemental stars were stolen from Soul Sanctum on Mono Left. Mono Left? Soul Sanctum? Are you healers from Soul Sanctum? Eh, not quite. We came from on the left, but we're not healers. We came from a village called Vale to recover the three elemental stars. Did you say Vale? Yes. Our village was there to protect Soul Sanctum, but the stars were stolen. That sounds just like my clan. Hence why we get along very well. I have failed in the one duty placed upon me. This is terrible. Isaac, Garrett! A familiar voice and face! It's Jenna! And Kraden. So, it's you, Isaac. <laughs> Those kids are still alive. You came all this way to save Jenna and Kraden? That's not all. We're after the elemental stars. Oh, wait, I gotta put my minority voice on. In other words, they've come to stop us. Then we have no choice. Let's take care of them now before they can do any harm. <laughs> Minari, wait. Oh, Satoros, they want to... I heard everything. They were lucky to survive, survive the eruption of Monoleth. You have endured so much, and now you want to throw your lives away? Fine. If that is your wish, prepare to have it granted. 
the Turos? Are you going to fight them alone? But Ari, I can't expect you to leave our hostages alone and help me, can I? Um, that's true. Besides, I want to see how much their powers have developed. Are you sure about this, Satoros? Leave me be. Head for the next lighthouse. Now! Come here, child. Uh-uh. Do you mean to defy me? I should teach you a lesson, child, but... Felix, I'd get your sister to obey me if you hope to keep her from harm. Jenna, please, just do what she says for now. Felix. It's alright, Jenna. Isaac and Garrett shouldn't have come after us. I'm sorry, Isaac. Garrett. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Isaac, Garrett, don't die! Sound advice. Jenna, Graydon! If you want to save them, you'll have to beat me first. No, get back! So, as you can see, we're about to fight one of the people that's absolutely destroyed us just three years ago. What's the matter? Saturus is extremely powerful. I can sense it when I face them. You have to be very careful when fighting him. We have to match his strength. Match me? Ha! You think you can match the great Satoros? You overestimate your chances. Fine, then. I'll just teach you all a lesson. What happened? Saturus is moving strangely. What's this? The light of Mercury, it's weakening my synergy. I must finish this quickly. Come on, fools! And here is the big boss. So, going to cast Granite, and then we are going to rip into him with everything we've got starting out. And we get to see the new summon that we have, Nerade. He'll still hit like a truck. Hundred eighteen damage is solid. I believe he has about twelve hundred health. He flash, ooh, twenty-seven. That still stings. And it's a little princess on a turtle, summoning water, and that's why I love it. Hundred and fifty-five damage, so we're off to a great start. Here comes Kyrie. He's gonna resist this, but. Useful to have anyway. 86 damage. So now we can cast Ramses. Um, we have access to a new attack called Heat Wave. I won't show you on Saturos because it's not that effective. But actually, you know what? I will. Why not? And we also got access to Sleep with Iva. So now we can put random enemies to sleep. We're going to use Tundra. Ooh, Ivan might die, actually. I have to hope he doesn't hit him. So here comes Ramses, 134 damage. Fireball, oh darn, this is going to hurt. Woo! Ivan's living. Ivan is living. Here's Heat Wave. I love the animation on that. Alright, they're going to get a little stronger now that their Jin are all set to them. Uh, we also got Ragnarok, which is a pretty sweet attack, and I'll show you all next turn, but we're going to spend this turn healing up. Ivan's going to use his healing ring, and Mia will use Fizz. So, again, that's why I said it's good to know the order. I knew Ivan would act first, so that's why I had him heal himself. Mia is lucky enough to dodge. And we recovered well from that fireball. Now it's time to let the gym do their work. 
actually, just in case he casts another fireball, I'm gonna use Breeze to raise our resistance, and then we will attack. So as you can see, even having leveled up a little bit, so Taros is still an extremely powerful foe. Which is why I thought we wouldn't be ready for him if we were at a lower level. And we'll go ahead and summon the granite. I'll raise our attack. Attack with mighty wind gusts. Uh, nope. We use an herb instead. And Mia's gonna cast apply. Again, I'm all about not having to waste waters of life on my characters, so. Good thing we used that one we did. Alright. So we're living. Forge gonna raise our attack. 28. Very nice. And now we can summon Ramses, Kyren. Use Plasma, and then Narrate. And this should hopefully be enough to take him out. Narrate should do some massive damage with the water power boost. Close to 200, I hope. I'll take it, and Saturos goes down. 331 experience, 800 coins, and a Psy Crystal. So again, you want to make sure you're around level 12 or 13 before you take on Saturos, because otherwise he can absolutely destroy you with that fireball. Uh, I've taken him on at lower levels, and he's been able to kill two to three characters at once. Depending on my level, so... Who would have thought that Mercury Lighthouse held such great power? If only my Psy energy had been at its full power. Saturos, you said you were weakened. What did you mean? I... I meant nothing. I shall tell you what he means. That voice, could it be? Alex! It's been a while, Mia. Alex, do you realize what you've done? Huh, of course. I freed a great power that has long been sealed away. Mercury, the lighthouse of water. What a mighty force. Alex, you... Are you mad? No, Mia. Don't you understand? The lighthouse granted you great power during your battle with Saturos. It's true. I could use my power without ever depleting it. Don't you see? The Mercury Lighthouse supplied you with limitless Synergy. Synergy? Are you telling me my powers come from Synergy? You and I are both members of the Mercury Clan, masters of water synergy. Mia is an adept too, isn't she? Duh. Geez, Isaac, you knew all along you didn't tell us? Tell me, Alex, why wasn't Saturos able to use his full power? Ah, yes, I shall explain it all. Saturos is aligned with Mars, the clan of fire, similar to Garrett. Fire and water are opposing elements. His full power was bound by the water synergy of the lighthouse. Didn't Saturos know that? Of course he knew. However, he failed to appreciate the power of this lighthouse. As did I. Is that why we were able to defeat Saturos? No, there's... there's more to it. I stood by watching your battle from afar. You were watching us? Yes. I did not help uh, Satoros because I was certain he would win. But I was wrong. We would become such great fighters in short time. Ah. Oh. Satoros is beat up again, but we just beat him. Me? Beaten? Never. I lost to this lighthouse, not to you. I was merely stalling you until Satoros regained his strength. You were just buying time ads? Not fair, Alex. I won't let Saturos escape. And just, what are you going to do? Will you finish him off? Yes, we will. If that's the case, you'll have to fight me as well. I've seen how you fight. You cannot hope to win. It's true, he does have limitless synergy, uh, synergy right now. And I doubt you're the type to finish anyone off. 
Of course, you're welcome to believe whatever you want. He warped again. Again? He's done that before? Yeah, in Soul Sanctum. That synergy is warp. Does that mean that Maya can use it? No, it's impossible. Even Alex didn't have that kind of power before. Oh, sorry, I thought that was Saturo saying that. That was Mia. Huh. Oh well, can't say the same Alex you knew forever. Well, it seems that my ride has returned while we were speaking. And so I bid you adieu. Ta-ta. Isaac, Saturo still has the elemental stars. That's right, we can't let them leave now. Oh, and you want to take the elemental stars from Saturo's? Yeah. Huh, too bad, Minardi has them. You'll have to ask her. That reminds me. Do you still have the Mars star? Yes, I do. I appreciate your honesty. I suppose you'll be willing to pursue us for the elemental stars? Yes, we will. I look forward to it. I shall see you soon, then. Goodbye. I look forward to our next battle. They're gone. Shoot, we couldn't even save Jenna. I don't deserve to be a healer. We couldn't stop them from lighting the beacon. I failed my clan, failed my duty. That's not true, we can still beat them, right Isaac? Yeah, we can. That's right, Isaac. All we have to do is stop them from lighting all the lighthouses. The Beacon of Mercury lighthouse has been lit, but we'll stop them next time. That's right, we can save Jenna at the next lighthouse. Yes, we won't let Alex get away with this. Let's go after them now. What's the matter? We should hurry. We? Maya, are you coming along with us? But the people of I will need you, Maya. No, no, it's okay. The fountain shall be filled as long as the lighthouse fills, or as long as light fills the lighthouse. That's an old saying. The fountain will run over with healing waters now. I have mixed feelings about leaving, but Haima will be fine as long as the fountain continues to flow with the water of Hermes. We should hurry if we're going to follow them. Well, you heard the lady. And here comes our elevator. I love this music. And so now you notice all the villagers who are excited to get the water of Hermes. And thanks to us looking around inside that old couple's apartment, we now have the Hermes water. So we have exactly what we need to go heal Tret, and we will definitely be sure to do that in our next episode. So. We went ahead and finished the Mercury Lighthouse today, despite me having to do it twice because I forgot to record the first one. But the point is, we're here now, we're excited, and we're about to head out back to Kalima to help save everyone, back to Bilibin to receive our reward, and then, well, you'll just have to watch next time to find out. If you're enjoying the series, do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because your support is what keeps me going and keeps me young and healthy. And of course, make sure you leave any sort of feedback you want just to let me know what you think of the series. But for now, this is Bowtie So Fly saying have a great day and stay fly.